Hey guys, it's Rosie Mum Anna. A little bit late to do my August favourites, but better late than never. Oh, it's not in the mirror there. Um, I just, sorry, it's all like unelegantly strewn about everywhere, but I had it all in my arms from where I keep it. It's slightly organised and I sort of just dropped it and we're going from here. I got this from Timo Amazon or something for like two ninety seven. My daughter has really thick curly hair. We would have, you know, I use detangling spray, conditioning mask, shampoo and conditioner. We've got, you now she's 13, she's into aesthetic hair care. And we've got Maui hair food and then we just got the Garnier hair food and mask. We use all this and still it would end up in tears every day. This total game changer, less than five bucks. Get one wherever you get it from. Then... I also, I got this from Timu. I believe it's supposed to be a dupe of Natasha Denona product. If you know my face, I have some clay mask on, some pink clay mask on. Um, and this is beautiful. It has like three of the sort of mashed potato texture, you know, the wet to dry. I believe it's like a colour shock. I don't know. Like, makeup is so expensive in Australia. For example, the Naked Heat palette is still like $100 in our... Mecca, we don't even have Sephora in the state I live in, but yeah, that sort of thing. So, um, I got this. I absolutely love it. <coughs> and an oldie but a goodie, and I really don't think this brand gets its recognition. In the balm of your hand, I have been loving this palette lately. Mostly, like, I love the in-stain blushes. I wish they weren't discontinued. Hot Mama, Cabana Boy, Bahama Mama is beautiful, like, on the eyes, I think it's a little bit deep for bronzer for me. Who doesn't remember Mary Luminizer? Love it as a highlight. Um, Balm Joby, Shady Lady, like all of these are beautiful and they're quality. And then, like, this is what I mean, they're way ahead of their time. So these are like caramel apples, lip and cheek stain, and um, the Balm Girls lip and cheek stain in red. I like the way they package. I love this. Okay. Um, designer Brands is one of my favourite, and this is a um, palette I got from them this month. So it's an Australian cruelty vegan free. It's called Make Your Move. There, I don't know what the glitters are for. They're very odd, but anyway, let's pretend they're not there and imagine. So, obviously, eyeshadows, just eyeshadows on the top, and then sort of glowy blushes and highlighters down the side in some different colours. Like, I think very rarely in Australian brands do we see a lot of things that would work well for anything deeper than like a white skin tone, and this might especially like the deeper blush up the top but they can all be used as eyeshadows they're phenomenal quality as usual it was excessively priced and i've been loving this one all month um this one i got in a cosmetic capitals 10 beauty products for ten dollars thing and i gosh darn love it i've never heard of the sun kissed bronze architect brand before at the face palette look at that so blush um now this is a bronzer I can get behind. It's like pale enough for me, but it doesn't make me look orange. It just makes me look bronzed. Um, I haven't used the contour because I feel I would look silly. I am too old to be doing that. The highlight is beautiful. The blush is beautiful. I've been putting it over some cream blushes. And the other product that's like that is from Emco Beauty. And these, like, I've never had an hourglass on, but I like to imagine that this is what these, an hourglass are similar. Like, they go on so smoothly and they're not obnoxiously shiny. Um, there's another one from this set that has just sort of, like, um, they're not blushes or heights. It is like a glowing sort of you know face powder I don't know the skin finishes I imagine they're like but this is just a glowy blush powder and it's absolutely beautiful it's beautiful on the skin Emco is really starting to make a move in Australian cosmetics uh, now we'll go with Timu I know it's a controversial site but I am uh, poor and a love these things so anyway don't get them if you don't like timu look for them on amazon or something if you do like timu get them i can put my um code if you think like they don't reach out and give it to you anyone can get one but it gives you like 50 percent of your first order anyway 
um, color geometry makeup powder so it comes in three different types much like the da Vinci one it can be a little messy opening it but it comes in a nice little puff so this has got like a banana covered powder a peach colored powder a rose colored powder and a sort of normal skin tone and you can mix them or you can help whichever one come out this is so finely milled it blurs beautifully um, I believe the strawberries mean it's meant to be duping someone. I don't know who, and I'm sorry if they did it really overtly. I hope they're not, like, straight selling your name and stuff, but because this powder is fantastic, and it comes in, like, the one with the blue and the purple and stuff, too. I would recommend it. Um, another thing I got off Timu is this, and I'm sorry, Glow Recipe, but, like, for example, this is what I mean about prohibitively expensive in Australia, like the Fruities Baby Tester Kit. It's like $32 on USA is $65 and then with shipping it cost me $85 to get that. So this is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamon Dew Drops um, and it's not the same in packaging obviously but it is a nice glass package 50 mils. I have used the other one before. Um, the ingredients are the same and this works just as well. It's phenomenal. It doesn't smell like watermelon but that's where this product comes on so um essence my daughter loves this so do i so it's their um three in one face mist hydrate fix refresh with watermelon s extract hello good stuff so i use this as a setting spray she uses this and um, i don't use this as a sediment, setting spray sorry i use it to spray like once i've done my at the end of my skincare, kind of before I put my makeup on, oddly. And then, um, here's another Timu special. How much does that look like the Clarence Leaf Oil? I'm doing no secret. It feels just like the Clarence Leaf Oil. And it was $2.97. So, like, I've got the fat oils, and I've got the dupes for them, and they're great. But this one is the best one. Like, get this one. It's in six different colors. Um, if you don't want a lip... Oil, if you want something with more colour, get this. Like, it's called a honey lip glaze, and it, like, clicks up. If it came in, like, blue and green, it would be a dupe for the squirt sticks, I imagine, because it's just so glossy and creamy and emollient. You click it up, and if you had it up too much, it will literally break just like those ones, but it comes in beautiful colours, and... It's phenomenal, and your lips somehow don't feel sticky. See what I mean? Like, look how shiny that is. It's two dollars, or you can get all the six colors. I think I'll do that because, like, I want to give them to my daughter. Like, obviously, I'm too old for this packaging, but I can appreciate how cute it was. And if I was 13, um, this I'm not too old for. This, this is great. This is just like a rose out hip oil balm that you can put around your eyes and that sort of thing so I use that as my last step around my eyes just because it's so thick before going to bed then <coughs> Natio which is another Australian brand Natio Nato so this little thing is great for like if you want to do a little bit of highlighting the brow bone a little bit on the end of the nose the cupid's bow this sort of thing because it gives like a lovely color it's easily blended um and it's so easy to use so like there is just the more pink side so as you can see it does work if you blend it out and then there's a more gold champagne side personally i use the pink side it is a traditional pencil it sharpens it hasn't gone um dry on me at all and then i got this in a cosmetic cover bag i never tried the foundation before so mud i don't know why they did this name it's supposed to be makeup design um, the, my holy grail foundation is actually a W7, $5, like, it's called Genius Foundation in a dropper, and it's like a water skin tint, otherwise I use, like, L'Oreal Paradise water tint, that sort of thing, um, I love them, but this is sort of more a medium cons coverage, it's flawless skin all day, flawless finish foundation, it says medium coverage. Um, I put it on with a little bit of glowy, like primer or whatever in it. So yeah, I mean I think it looks quite almost full coverage. It's not matte though. It's sort of like a your skin but better one. 
but it looks really good. So there's that, and the very last product is this She is Precise Liquid Eyeliner by Strauss. I have struggles with liquid eyeliner. This is actually a brown, but like, you know how quite often you can only draw with the side of the tip? You can draw with the tip on this. Um, it The colour comes out evenly. It, oh, sorry, I just put my sleeve over the camera. So this is another in my 10 items for ten dollars you should check those out by the way they're, they're great like um australis had a five pack for 4.95 um like in the 10 items i think i got the essence insta perfect foundation i got the australis thing i got this i got an essence lip liner i got a um NYX Glitter Primer, I got a, um, like a Moroccan Oil Hair Mask and something else. I got two of them. I got the End of Financial Year one and the one for $10, but the best ones are the 50 products for $55 or the hair care or skincare ones. But anyway, they're my favourites. Hope you like them. Please Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you think I'd like your videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.